Hey traders, welcome to WeTrade Waves weekly forex forecast. Yesterday, one of our traders asked us a question about psychology. How to build a strong mindset while you are trading. So we thought to share the answer with you as well. Do not expect the chart to do what you want it to do. Instead, see what it's doing and then trade accordingly. This was our answer. In this video, we will explain you how to never ever blow your forex trading account. We will give you our forex forecast and a bonus tip. Rule number one, get knowledge before you trade live. We are not saying that you should get the knowledge from us only. Take it from anywhere, but learn first before you trade live. Rule number two, never ever add to a losing position. You might break even fast, but most of you will forget that you will be doubling your risk at the same time. Rule number three, do not over risk and over trade. Rule number four, prevent big loss situation. You should only get four outcomes. For more information about these outcomes, watch our last week's video. If our videos are helping you, give us a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Let's get started. DXY, for this one guys, all of you know that we are expecting more downside. And we said last week, this is the last wave before we go to the upside again. So market went down. Now what next? We are expecting market to spend more time here within the sideways and then downside again. So for DXY, we are still expecting one more push down. This down wave guys, it will be the last wave within the structure. This means we will not sell it. Any sell setup we see from here, we will not take it. Market will be going down only to complete a specific structure and then upside again. So what we will look for for DXY is buy setups. Any buy setup we get after this low, we'll go for it. Next week, further down is possible. After that, we'll be looking for our buy setups one more time. Let me explain you guys the bigger picture. Here in this one, we're expecting market to go down, break this low, and then we'll be moving to the upside again very sharp. And this wave, it will be impulsive. What this means? This means this wave, it will be sharp and fast, similar to this one. Sharp and fast wave. Now forget about this one, we'll explain it later on. For now what you should focus on is your buy setups because this wave it will be fast and you should take advantage of it if you know how to trade it. We are posting charts on TradingView every week, so make sure to follow us there as well. The link is in the first comment of this video. Euro dollar for this one we are expecting it to start giving us sell setups. But first next week looks like it's going to push up one more time. So this is same as the XY. This wave we will not trade it and we'll start to look for our sell setups. Any upside here will ignore it and any buy setup we will not go for it. All what we are looking for is our sell setups. This is the wave and this is the move that we will trade. Downside down wave for euro dollar. If any one of you need to go for this buy, be very careful guys and take profits as soon as possible. For us, we will not buy it. Once this up wave is over guys, we will be looking for our sell setups and this will be a long term trade. This wave, it will be big and sharp as well. So trade with care and trade your own system, do not jump in. Pound dollar for this one, you know that we were looking for sales and market went down. Now the way the market is going down is not convincing. What this means, here for this one, we can see one more push up. This up wave guys, if you know how to trade it, you can go for it and take profits as soon as the market will go up to these levels. Why? Because after this up wave, we might be going to the downside again to complete a bigger structure. Now, here in this one, this can be an ending structure and then downside again. After this up wave, we will be looking for our sell setups. This wave guys, it will be impulsive and this wave, it will be impulsive as well. What I mean by that, this will be similar to this one, sharp and fast. Those who are in the sell, do not close your trade. Move your stops and manage it. Your worst case scenario, it will be break even now. And those who are not in, you can go for the buy, trade your own system, and then go for the sales once this wave is finished. This is what we will do. If you are new to WeTradeWaves channel, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get a notification every time we publish a video. Aussie dollar for this one, you know that we are looking for sales and market is going up and down, up and down here without any sharp move. And we did say last week, up and then downside again, market went up and it's moving down. All of you who are in the sell, manage your trade. And you know the four outcomes that you should get after you click a trade. Now, 
What next for this one? The way market is going, we do not like it. This means it can crawl up one more time and then downside again. The momentum here guys is dying out. This means anytime market can shoot back down and very fast. For this one guys, we need this lag. This lag is needed to complete a structure. And this is what we will trade. This lag will be fast and sharp. So those who know how to trade this wave, wait for it guys and wait your sell setup. If market will go to the upside like that, we will stay away. We are not expecting the market to go up, but you know we are not controlling the market. We are following this structure step by step, wave by wave, and we are updating you on a weekly basis. Trade your own plan and trade your own system. Next for Aussie dollar, downside, sharp, and fast wave. Dollar yen for this one also it's moving down and market is going up down at the same level as last week. You know from here we sent up, market went up, from here we sat down, market is moving down. Those who still in the sell, move your stops, take profits, it's up to you. Now what next for this one and what we'll be expecting regarding the next wave. Here in this one guys, we might be getting one more push up and then downside again. Market here is completing an impulsive structure. So wait one more push up here and then you can go for your sell setups one more time. We are expecting market to scroll down to these levels and then from here, you should start to look for your buy setups. The bigger picture here for this one guys is this. We are expecting market to go down and then go up very sharp and very fast. This up wave, it will be similar to this one and also similar to this one and this one. So those who are in the sell, move your stops and manage your trade. And those who want to go for the next trade here, wait this up wave and then go for your sell setups. All of you know that here we are sharing our point of view on what could be the next move in the market and not signals. And if you are really benefiting from our videos guys, give us a thumbs up and share it on your social media platforms. Let other traders benefit as well. Follow us on Instagram. More analysis, tips, traders' feedbacks, stories will be posted there as well. All of you know that we are looking for sales in New Zealand dollar and market went down, up and is going corrective right now. The way this is going down confirms to us that one more push up is coming. This means upside and then downside again. Any buy setup here will not go for it. And any sell setup we see, we will take it. Until we see a clear sell setup based on our strategy and on our system, we will not go for the sell. So, one direction, a clear forecast. Downside down wave for New Zealand dollar. If market will go to the upside, let it go without us. This should be your thought process as well. What we can see based on this structure, up and then downside again. This fall, it will be fast and sharp. Like I said, do not jump in. For this one guys, we need a bigger corrective structure before we go for any buy setup. Anytime, market can start this bigger corrective structure. So we are expecting market to go minimum to these levels. And then after that, we will update you. This is why it's very crucial to follow us on a weekly basis and watch the video till the end. On every video, I'm giving you tips, advices during the video. So watch it till the end. Gold for this one, all of you are following us and you know what we said last week. We were expecting market to go up, it went up making a corrective structure and now it's going up again. Despite seeing the buy setup, you know that we are not in the buy. Expect another push up next week before the big sales. You know that this is the move and this is the wave that we are looking for. Big sales, sharp and fast wave to the downside for gold. This is what we will trade. If any one of you are in the buy, make sure to take profits as soon as market will go up to complete this wave. After this up wave, a big sell is coming. Otherwise, no buy setup for us. We will be focusing on this wave. Here on YouTube, we are posting 15 to 20 charts. The rest of the pairs are covered on our website every single week. www.wetradewaves.com Go to the homepage and scroll down to check or else you can find the link in the first comment of this video. Yes, oil for this one is making a correction. It went down. Correction again, it's going down. This wave, guys, it's corrective. This means anytime market can give us a sharp down wave. This wave, you can trade it if you know how to trade it. If you are investing, you should wait this down wave and go for the buy setups again. For those who would like to trade, you can start to look for your sell setups and then after that, buy setup again. Wait the market to go down and you can buy it cheaper. All of this, it will be part of a bigger corrective structure. So for those who would like to trade US oil, wait this up wave, you can go for it if you know how to trade it. Get in, get out. 
get in, get out for profits. And then after that, look for your sell setups. This wave, it will be bigger. After this down wave, upside again. Those who would like to invest, you can wait this down wave and go for the buys again. Pound yen, this is moving as expected and it's moving down. We suggest you guys to go back and watch our last week's video just to see how the market unfolds. So, for this one, the way it's going down, we can see upside again and this up wave, we can see it corrective. This one guys, it has a tendency to make one more push up before downside. So for now, for those who are not in, you can focus on your buy setups and see how the market will go here. Why I'm saying that? First of all, focus on this up wave. If this up wave, it will be fast and sharp, expect correction, one more push up. In all the cases, those who are in, you should be in the sale. And if you are in the sale, you should be in profits right now. And your worst case scenario, it should be break even. Now, those who are not in, wait the market to make one more push down and you can start to look for your buy setups. I'm explaining you guys step by step what you should do. If this up wave, it will be sharp, we will be expecting correction and upside again. If this will be corrective, we will be looking for downside again. First of all, upside. And then after that, we'll update you later on. If this will be moving up guys one more time to break this top, we will sell it again. The bigger picture will not change and the bigger direction, it will stay the same. What I mean by that, we'll be expecting this wave to be sharp and fast, similar to this one. And this might be going up to complete another structure for this up correction, up correction and up again. After that, downside. But for now, if this will be making a corrective structure, look for sell setups. Because for us, we can see a specific structure here that leads to this down wave. Dollar cat also this is moving as expected. Market went up, then is going up. So you know from here we said we are expecting a bigger corrective structure and then upside again. Market is still within this bigger corrective structure. So what next here? And this one guys we are expecting a correction, one more push up and then downside again. So you can trade this up wave and you can trade this down wave. After this down wave, we still need one more leg up. So let me make it clear for you. And this one, one more push up, downside, and then upside again. All of this will be part of the bigger corrective structure. We might be trading this up wave, we will trade this down wave, and we will trade this up wave. All of this will be applied only if our strategy allow us to go for this up. If the trade worth the risk to reward, we go for it. If not, we ignore it. Despite seeing the up wave, we will not be going for every move up or every move down. To be a successful trader, you should be selective in your trades. So, for this one, like I said, up, down, and up again. Urian, for this one, from here we said up and down, market went up and it went back down. Last week, we said here we are expecting a correction and downside again, market went up very sharp. So for this one, market didn't move as expected. So what we will do next? Here in this one, the structure is not changed guys. All what it's doing here, it's making a bigger corrective structure. If you would like to learn the correct way, our next course, it will be in a few months from now. So coming back to analysis. Here in this one, we are expecting down, up, and then downside again. The structure is not changed. Any buy setup we see, we will ignore it. And any sell setup we see, we will go for it. The bigger wave and the bigger direction is towards the downside. Aussie New Zealand, for this one from here, we said we are expecting a corrective structure and market went down. Step by step, our followers should remember what we forecasted from here. Down, up, down, up, and then downside. And from here, we said upside. Every single wave for this one. If you remember those forecasts, guys, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. And we hope all of you are in this buy and you are making profits. What next for Aussie New Zealand? We are expecting here downside and then upside again. This will be a small corrective structure and all the way up. All of you who are in the buy, move your stops, take profits, or manage your trade. No matter what the market will do, your worst case scenario, it should be small profits for now. No one should take a loss if market decide to make one more push down like that. We are not expecting this, right? I am just explaining to you and what to expect from market. Those who are not in, wait this corrective structure before you go for any buy setup. The next wave and the next move we are looking for is upside. Euro New Zealand, how many of you remember this forecast? From here we set correction downside to break this low and then upside again. And I showed you an example before, right? So market went in, break this low, and then it's moving up. Amazing. Market went up more than 300 pips. All of you who are in the buy, we hope that you are making good profits, guys. And those who are not in, wait this down wave before you go for any buy setup. 
while expecting market to give us a corrective structure and then upside again. And those who are in, just manage your trade. This is guys the power of wave analysis and structure. Know where the market is going and then trade the next wave. Some of you might see the next waves, but this is not enough. To be a successful trader, you should have a complete system, including strategies. Strategies is a big part guys. And for us, we have our unique strategies. Europan, for this one guys, we said last week, those who are in the sell, manage your trade or take profits. We are expecting market to go up and it did go up. So what after that? Market went up, give us this corrective structure and now we are expecting it to move down. This down wave, it will be part of the corrective structure. For now, focus on this sell setup. After this down wave, we will update you later on. Sell setup and then we will see how the market will perform here. For now, next for Europan is downside. And this is the needed lag guys to complete the correction. If you get a sell setup, you can trade this down wave. Dollar Swiss for this one guys, it's moving as expected. We said up, correction up, and then we are looking for this down wave. Market went down and now we are expecting more downside here. Those who are in the sell, make sure to take profits as soon as this low is taken. Why? Because after this low, we will look for our buy setups. And this buy setup, it will be sharp and fast. Do you remember Euro New Zealand? This is what we are expecting here as well. We are expecting market to go down, break this low, and then go up very sharp. Those who are not in, do not go for this sell. This sell, it will be risky and short-lived. After this down wave, look for your buy setups. This is what we will trade. Upside up wave for dollar Swiss. Cat Swiss also for this one, market went up and it's going down again. If anyone of you are in the sell, manage your trade or take profits. We are expecting correction and then downside again. This sell setup guys, do not go for it. After this down wave, we'll start to look for our buy setups. This buy setup, it might be corrective or impulsive. So, in this one, market went up and down. Those who are in, manage your trade. And those who are not in, leave it and trade other pairs. Dollar Swiss, it might be better than this one. Eurocat, for this one guys, we are expecting market to make a sharp down wave. We will be looking for our sell setups and this is the wave we are looking for. Down wave for Eurocad. So all of you who trade Eurocad, start to look for your sell setups. Without a sell setup, do not jump in. And every time you need to trade, use stop loss. Because if you will not use stop loss guys, you will be risking all your account. Because market can go up 1000 pips or go down 1000 pips without any correction or any pullback. This might be a news event, this might be anything. Do not risk your account, always your stop loss and protect your capital. Remember, you are not controlling the market. You are following the market to trade the next wave or the next move. Trade smart, protect your capital before you build your account. Pound Swiss for this one, it's moving as expected. Market went up and it's moving down. What next? We are expecting a correction and then downside again. This one guys, if you are not in, wait this corrective structure before you go for any sell setup. If you will not get this corrective structure, do not sell it. After this down wave, we will update you later on. This up wave, it might be impulsive or corrective. For now, you should be in the sell. And those who are in the sell, manage your trade or take profits. You can wait this correction, one more push down, and then you can take profits here. Because from here guys, we are expecting upside. This up wave, it will be corrective or impulsive. We will let you know later on. Not gas for this one guys, we are posting it again just to say for those who are in, manage your trade. Remember this is investment and your stop loss should be at zero and do not forget to check the swaps and the commissions with your broker. This will be a good investment for upside. And once we say investment, this doesn't mean you should risk all your account in one pair. Pound odds for this one guys, we are looking for this buy setup. This is the wave and this is the move we are looking for. Upside up wave for pound odds. Those who want to trade it, look for your buy setups. Any sell setup we see here, we will ignore it. And any buy setup we see, we will take it. This up wave guys, it will be more than 300 to 400 pips. Now is the time for the bonus tip. Even in trading, you should set goals and do your best to achieve them. You should put weekly, monthly, and yearly goals. And those goals must be realistic guys. Do not put a goal like you need to make 20% profits every single week. 6% per month is more than enough for you to double your account in one year. Once you achieve a goal, set another one and so on.
You know that we are helping thousands of traders every week. You need at least one year of dedication, hard work, and commitment after you get the correct learnings. How you can do that? You can learn it alone or you can find a good mentor, a good private group to join them. You are more than welcome to join us if you can afford our mentorship. Now, we are not taking any new students. We will let you know later on when it will be our next course. If you cannot afford it, keep watching our free videos. Every week, you will learn something new. All what we want from you guys, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share this video on your social media platforms. Let others benefit as well. Thanks for watching. Trade with care and see all of you next week.